I've worked for 50 years from a kind of innocence at the beginning to a degree of knowingness now. And along the way, photography has taught me many things. I feel that I've been a servant to photography. I've served it and it's given me back whatever I could understand from its gifts and its demands. And I think when I look at the work now, I see that the person I was when I began and became now has had a consistent through line all the way. one of the, uh, the strengths of photography is that it shows you where to go. By reading your contact sheets or your film rolls, you begin to understand more about who you are. And so I trusted right from the beginning that photography would tell me what my identity was and offer me a path towards knowing more about myself. One of the very first things I learned working on the street was that when the moment arrives, you just have to make a picture of the moment. And often, the frame itself isn't a perfect frame. It's not a Cartier-Bresson classically organized frame. It's got a different kind of energy in it. It's clumsier, it's bolder, it's more about the first strength of the connection between whatever is going on and you as the artist. And so I, I was struggling at that time to learn how to be in the moment, how close to get to somebody, how do I um, understand that there's significance, you know. And sometimes the tip-off is, you know, this woman is carrying a book that says the American character, and then I look at her and she's this overstuffed woman, and I think, well, that's the American character. And it becomes either a joke or a kind of witty observation or it even sometimes philosophy, you know, as, as simple as philosophy was for me at that age. Even though I was making pictures out of innocence in that first year, 1962, into 63, um, I was beginning to feel, as I got some experience, that there was more to putting, to making a frame than putting something in the middle of it. And I found, even then, at the very beginning, that I was trying to kind of open the frame up. And I didn't know, till years later, that that would be an important uh, um, visual change for me. At the moment, it was an innocent uh, uh, aspiration. I was looking to see if I could feel the frame and the, and the events differently, because I, I understood that, like shooting an arrow, it was too easy to put something in the middle of the frame as a target. To me, that was uh, something one had to get beyond at some point. I don't think of my pictures as works of art. I think of them as um, a fraction of a second in which my understanding and the world's offering are unified in some way 
that allows us to have a kind of open experience to share with whoever looks at the picture. So it's not formal, it's more about experiential. 